Friends, it's Curtis Robinson with Kudo, and Kudo is the archer build for the Samurai class. <clears throat> I was noticing that I've got to uh, get a couple of buffs for my guys, right, for my ashes, and Sofria happens to be a place where we can get those buffs. So we're going to go down into Sofria here, just so you know, it's right by the third tree in Laernia. And there are a number of things we're going to have to do. Of course, there's a boss down here. There are smithing stones to pick up, which are pretty cool. And of course, there are some other minor quests down here that you can do. The big thing that I like to do is make sure that we grab the map. We get the loot. And again, if you want to nickel and dime all of the smaller minions and, you know, just build up some runes, you can do that. You're kind of farming the place. But it's just not... Uh, it's not a lot of runes to be had. So I like to go to places where the, I can get a ton of runes and a, a couple of uh, a couple of kills and I can be, you know, 5, 10, 15,000 runes. I don't want to be 100 runes here or 50 runes there. It's just, it makes the game long and tedious. So, that being said, I'm coming down here with the purpose of killing the bosses for the runes and skipping a lot of the other... Uh, scrubs, the minions, you don't have a lot of runes. Then I'm going to pick up all of the um, Grave Glove Wart and the Ghost Glove Wart. So there's a few things that we can pick up along the way, a couple of these uh, runes there, golden runes pretty good. You can pick up all these Dukist Herbas if you really want to. I think probably you're going to find that uh, it's not very satisfying. All right, so these guys are kind of slow, so you'll notice I'm just going to hustle on by most of them. I do want those smithing stones. The number fours are what I'm looking for. So if you see me picking up a number four, that's what I came to get. Oh, oh he almost got me. So close. These guys can overpower you if you aren't careful. So my thing is, let's stay on the move. Hustle, pick up this stuff. Man, how did he get me from there? I thought I was out of his way. Stay away from the magic using guys because they are <clears throat> pretty good at what they do. Those bubbles will damage you up a little bit. So I know there is there are a few items up here that I want to snag. Melted mushrooms are really only good for making soap for the most part. Not something that a, my character really is terribly interested in. You can wash off poison, but I mean, there's a thousand other ways to mitigate poison damage. Maybe not a thousand, but plenty of ways. So we're going to zip on up here. Yeah. Make the run across. And we're going to tag this guy. Those guys right over there. I'm not going to aggro them yet because I'm not in a good position. Of course, you could rain, you know, hellfire and damnation down on these guys from the high ground. They could never get to you. Let's see if I can go ahead and start plucking this guy here. He is going to start casting a spell, so I'm going to hit him with a couple of regular shots rather than letting him fill around with his magic. Looks like he wasn't really caring about his magic. Maybe I'm too far away. Let's try this guy. He does not even know I'm here. It's the beauty of being far away. I'm not in their aggro, their circle of aggro, if there is such a thing. Okay. There is an item way down there. If you want to go get it, it's not that cool. This is the, the item that I want to get here. The real question is, where do you guys want to jump down to get to it? I go all the way around to here, so that I can fairly well jump down and have something to land on. I'm moving on the set here. I'm going to jump, and I am going to go to sword because I'm going to need to sh smack this stinking scarab. 
Oh. Rats. He did get the item. I have to climb the whole thing. thing. Kind of fell down a little bit there. Rats, rats, rats. Not a problem. We'll do a zip line back up here. Oop, I went the wrong way too. And I missed something. I missed that. Hey, you guys go ahead and just... Ah! They're just going to stab me to death till I get the freaking item here. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. I'm not even sure what this item is. I can't remember. But I do know that uh, it'll bother me in my head. I'll be thinking, what was that item? If I don't go get it. Let's do jump, the whole jump trick again. Parkour up the wall here a bit. Heck, I've already killed the guys. One more time. So I could make the jump, or you can do the walk off. So, again, I think I'm just going to do the walk off to here. And this is the item I wanted to get. Ah, oh, it's just a pickled fowl foot. You gotta be kidding me. <clears throat> it's all good. Let's move on, get past all the scrubs here. Okay. So, you might notice that there, again, there are a ton of these Dukist Herba things. You can pick up them if you really, really want to. I don't really use them. I'm trying to think even what in the world I'm using for. There is a number one. I don't need the ones. I'm looking for two, three, and four. And I think all two, three, and four are all up there. There's a four. I need that. So not only a four in the uh, smithing stone. I'm looking for a five somber smithing stone. And I'm looking for... The uh, one, let's say I got the one, I need the two, three, four, and so forth of the glove wart. So the grave glove wart will help my Kaiden sell sword, and the ghost glove wart will help my uh, banish Night Ingval until I get to the mimic tier. And again, that's in Nakron, that's going to be a minute until I get there. But it changes the game once you get mimic tier. <clears throat> Particularly interesting is that. Once you get mimicked here, it seems like you just find a ton of glove wards to get him up to plus 10. And not run. It's like the magic place for glove wards and stuff. Which is those little white flowery plants. Alright. Don't really need anything. Much herbal here. Alright. Okay, there's going to be some eggs here. Ah! I could get past him without a smack. And again, we want to hit the grace. Then we want to get the map. All right, here's another one. I think this is our number one. Number one. Let's hit the grace real quick. We're going to just drive right on because this has been a pretty short video so far. All right, friends, so these obelisks, the statue there, the concrete pillar looking thing, we gotta light those. You probably knew that already. If you didn't know that, this is your first time in Sofria. Follow kind of my lead here. I'm gonna lead you immediately to this item. Here's the map. And then the next item is probably the most important item for an archer. And you're gonna jump down here. Try not to fall off, jump off the horse, and this is your hornbow. You're going to love this bow. 
you're going to want this bow, I can tell you that. And the reason why is because it's kind of like a longbow of sorts. It does a little extra magic damage. But you need three bows because you got three different Ashes of War for three different scenarios when you're shooting. So that's kind of important. Okay, so now we're in the thick of it. Guys are going to start following us and start wanting to kill us. We have to be cautious what we do. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and jump down here. We're going to jump up. I think there is the glove wart. Let's jump. Boing! Get up there. I think there's a glove wart up here. I think. And am I good or what? There's a number three. And it's a ghost glove wart. Pretty good. I already have a ghost glove wart for the current guy, my banished knight ball. But I will need one for my material. Alright, let me think. I guess I really shouldn't have done that. I could have done that with the horse. Try not to fall off of this one, right? Big jump. And double jump. Alright, not too bad. There is something on this side. By the way, if you take the teleporter, you can fight that guy. I don't really care to do that. Stone sword key, super important. Alright. Rotate torrent around here and head on back. I am going to jump down to here and jump off. If torrent will let me jump off. Alright. I have fallen a couple times from here, so be be wise and cautious. Maybe move around. to here and you can just jump right down there's no bad guys right here I was thinking there was something back here but I was apparently wrong torrent all right so you can see my item up ahead that I'm looking for right here and then there's a jump spring right down below a couple of dwelling arrows Now, if you want to, you can jump, get a little running start, and jump onto that other pylon. I'm thinking that there's a good reason to do that. Jump! We are aiming for that one. Now you can't take damage, at least to my knowledge, you can't take damage once you hit the, the jump spring. So if you if you miss the target, it's not the end of the world. of the hill. Alright, so that over there is where we're going to fight the boss. Keep that in mind. We have to light all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of those. I've only lit one. And you can see that there are a crap ton of dudes all around. Uh, these minotaur looking guys. That we're going to want to ultimately kill. I was thinking there was something up here for some reason. I must have been mistaken. that guy right there. Yeah, there's a lot of those guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and hop down so that I can... These guys kind of are invisible or hard to find. They're cloaked, semi-invisible. So we're going to want to kill them as we see them. By the way, if you want to get some really cool... Uh, Bones, some heavy bones to make some big arrows for your golem bow or for the Radon's great bow. You gotta kill those pigs. Alright, here we go. Let's see what we can do here. Can somebody see me? Yup. Alright, looks like I'm going into uh I'm go with uh sword here. He's a little bit too close. One, two. Okay. Ah, I'm not an up close fighter. Alright. Let's get a little bit of uh, space here and we get my life together. Alright. That's what I'm talking about. You want to shoot me? 
got something for you. Alright, here we go. One. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta get the angle. Till you get enchanted shot. This is your life. You gotta wait until he stops moving. Or until he lines up. See, he's lined up on me now. Got 300 for him, so it's not too bad. Man. What a pisser, you know what I'm saying? Let's go get this item over here. Slide past those guys. Let's kill this guy. Hopefully I won't get smoked. him if I shoot him first. Well, I killed enough of them. I apparently got my potion back, which is pretty cool. I do have a an arrow in my freaking <laughs> ribs. Okay, so this is the number two. Our second one of these we got to get. Again, you could kill all those guys, not required. I think I'm going to zip past that guy because he's already all over me and there's not another thing that I'm trying to get. Alright, I ride this in a circle here. Let those things shoot themselves out. That one did not shoot itself out. Right, jump off. Let's kill this guy. Oh, crud. I'm not going to be good at fighting two of these guys. Alright. This guy apparently did not want to come get me, which I'm really happy about. Alright, let's go get him with a single shot. And best. i got to get the angle. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and get this. That's number three, right? Tiny, there are a bucket load of these freaking Minotaur guys. And once you get over uh, where they are, they got the great bow. Man, they can shoot. All right, this is number four. There's going to be a guy. All right, right there. I tried to roll and totally failed miserably. They're definitely pretty fast on foot, or should I say on hoof. Alright, let me get you from horseback. Mongol, short bow style. Got him. Technically the Mongols I think had composite bows by the way, just in case you guys are wondering. Probably should drink. This is when it's good to have an incantation. So uh, I'll be getting Beast Vitality soon. And that is what I will use to heal up these, what I consider minor injuries. Not too bad. There's one I left behind. I'm going to run back and get it real quick. That one was four. This one over here should be five. I don't know if we got that. We're going to get ganked by this guy. Got that one. The glove work two. Need that. I think there's one in here. We have a four stone, which is pretty good. I hope this isn't too fast. One of the things I don't like about watching certain YouTubers is that they blast through things so fast that it's hard to even see what in the heck is going on. And I know I'm kind of heck I'm on horseback, that means I'm definitely moving fast. <clears throat> I'm really sliding through these things. 
Alright. The one I missed, I think, is right over here, and I think it's guarded. Oh, you missed me! Yep. Let's pluck this guy. Ah, crud. I don't think I can beat him before he gets on top of me. Try to kite him a little bit. Oh, it's gonna be close! He's stupid. And by stupid, just basically he ran forward when he could have like ducked and dodged and stuff. Going. All right. Now, if you guys really want to, you can do a little smack on all of these hogs, man. I think that there's seems like there's one more guy. Yep, there he is. I think one shot should kill these guys. If you want to go ahead and spare the, if you can spare the ammunition, you can pick up these hefty bones. Crap for experience, you know, the runes, but I will pick up those bones. Let's like this one. Still need some other items to make these hefty arrows, but for the big golem bow, this works. Alright, so I think we're up to five. I think that was number five. Back to where we came, get past that knucklehead. Some of these guys are like really angry. Ah. Alright, I think this one will be number six. Take any chance if I can just jump off and light it before they get me. Here he comes. Two more. And there's a brace right here. We're not gonna just touch it, because I think we're good to go. It does reset everything if you rest. I've got four and four, I'm still really good to go. Okay. There's one up there. I'm going to kill this guy because he's just looking like he needs to be shot. One more. Only 194 for that guy. Is this smithing stone? Two. It's not what I'm looking for. I mean, I'll take it, but. All right. There's one there, and one over here. All right, so now we have to decide what we're going to do with this. I think I'm going to go with sword. Not my favorite Ash of War, but I kind of like collecting them, like picking them up. Switch back to bow. Now how you approach this is up to you. I'm going to recommend getting the high ground. Alright. Step one, I kill the rats, because I hate the rats. I think I'm gonna hit the ground. like one-shotting him because it seems so wasteful to shoot this other arrow. So 
we gotta come all the way up. Got him. Let's see if I can shoot one immediately and get him. Alright, we'll finish off these two guys. He's, I don't know, screaming in pain. Oh, my back. He shot me in the back. That guy, too. He's like, hey, he shot me, too. <laughs> right, hold the shot. There we go. Ah, oh, I should have been hit. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to go ahead and get this one. We'll come right back up and get the other one as well. Once we got all these turds out of the way. Guess what? More stinking rats. I'm talking by the bucket loads. There's a ton of these rats. I do not like the rats. Do not like them all alone. I do not like them when they are home. Just a little Dr. Seuss action for you. I do not like them when they're small. I do not like these rats at all. Yeah, I'm making that all up. All right, here we go. His buddy's in the way. There we go. That's a straight shot. So again, you guys might notice I'm waiting for the right angle before I try to make the shot. See, he's, and there he goes, head toward me. That's a good shot. All right, the only one left is the big mama fat rat. Probably can't get him before he comes to me. I'm gonna try. He is a little on the fat side, so I might get us pretty close. Oh, lovely! Ha ha ha! Now again, if you're a sword guy or a dagger guy, heck, even a hammer guy, you can be stabbing these ones in the back. They'll wait for you to come right up on them. We're doing the archery game, and I'm trying to manage arrows. I do have a, some extra arrows, by the way. Ah, I got my potion back. Haha. -ha. Let's touch this one. All right. Power gathers somewhere. That means we got them all. Get rid of that. Let's get on the horse. There is another thing that I'm going to want to do <clears throat> before we include on this side. Right along the edge here so that the really amazing archers don't freaking see you and start plucking it. A couple of rats, I gotta take them out real quick. Oh man, that's unfortunate. I knew there were more rats, but I did not see them. Somehow they got they got around me. So you guys might wonder why I'm bailing way out. If those other archers see me, um, they hit me with a totem totem pole size or telephone pole size freaking arrow. They do a lot of damage. Once we've gotten over here, we can start to see the guys that we really want to kill. Ha! Ah, where did they come from? Rats. I did not push that. Push this. Thank you. Swap. I swore that I had already killed all those stinking rats. Sorry. 
That's what potions are for, right? Alright, now let's see if we can get this guy. Now, if he hits me, he's gonna dank me. I mean, do this seriously. I'm out. I got him. It was sad that I ran out of arrows at the crucial moment. Those are the ones that I hate the most. Okay, so we got them taken care of. I'm gonna show you guys a way that you can go back up to Kalid if you want to. It does require a stone sword key. Let's go ahead and grab this. A little horn charm. This is the other elevator up. I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna waste the stone sword key, but it's there. There should be a grace, all right, here. Again, if you go ahead and rest here, it resets everything. I don't want to reset everything. I am curious if I can smack these two birds here. You need those feathers to make any kind of arrow. Well, any of the good ones. They've got some that are garbage arrows. All right, we're just going to zip on, oh, pick up that. I'm going to zip back on over here, and I'm going to show you guys where there's a little bit of loot, something pretty cool, something you're going to want. Zip right on this way. There's a little seed, we want that. It's a little baby earth tree. There is a rune arc hiding along this edge here. Try not to jump off to your death. That's always unfortunate when it happens. A little hidden area back here. And I even knew it was a rune arc. How crazy is that? All right. We've done everything that we want to do at this point. Um, I'm going to teleport back to here. And that's going to get me close to the boss. Then there are two bosses that I'm going to kill, but I'm probably going to make a new video for both of those. So all that's open. We are ready to rock and roll. And, oh, am I super short on arrows? I swore I had a little bit more in my stash. Let's check. Nope, 36. I got 36 and 10. That's what I got. Okay. Alrighty, let's, uh, that's not going to be enough. I'm going to switch over to my poison arrows. I'm saving those for a rainy day, to be honest with you. Okay. The Poison arrows and fire arrows are 120. They're a little on the expensive side. So I don't like to use them unless I really run out of the $20 per pack. But we gotta, we're gonna have to do that. All right, so let's double check something. What do I have on here? I have Mighty Shot. I did not want Mighty Shot. Corrud. change that out real quick. Sorry guys, I don't mean to waste your time. If you stuck with me this long, I certainly do appreciate you. And I do want to change and get this to Rain of Arrows. Rain of Arrows. Now I will tell you that uh, my plus nine bow is doing 121 damage, which is pretty good. I also now have I also now have this horn bow. It doesn't do as much damage, it does 90 damage, it does some magical damage, but I can beef that up next and it has Mighty Shot on it. So I, now I don't have to switch these anymore. See, I've got Rain of Arrows on that one, I've got Mighty Shot on that one. But once I get Enchanted Shot, I'm not going to be uh, 
using Mighty Shot anymore. Mighty Shot does more damage, but Enchant Shot doesn't miss. And I, well, that's not true. It could miss. It will arc and kind of heat seek a little bit, you know, head towards the enemy, which is pretty good. Friends, that's all I got for this session. Here's the Hallowhorn Grounds. This is where I'm going to fight the boss. I will get back with you guys on the next one. Be sure to subscribe.